That's what happens when you take pride in a unit. You have craftsmen working, you take your time. People could say, well, I can get this, I can get that. You're not gonna get this build quality. These are notoriously well constructed. And we've talked to many owners of these. They absolutely love them. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. Today, we're super excited to show you a motor home that's very new to us. We haven't done one of these before. 2024 Leisure travel van this is the unity fx on the mercedes-benz chassis this is a very very popular motorhome upwards of almost two years waiting list to get one of these and every one of them is sold that's in the display but we have the opportunity to take you on a full exterior and interior tour The reason why we picked this one is we, we've been on a bunch of them. This one, we really like this floor plan a lot for us. For you, it may not work, but this is really nice. It is on the Mercedes 3500 chassis. It's 170 inches lengthwise. Full body paint, of course. You have the paint protection up front. What are some of the advantages of this? Because this is only a 25 foot motorhome. Starting right up front, here's a big advantage and excuse the plants here. This has simple Kumho tires. You can get something like this anywhere at any auto parts store that sells tires because they are 16 inch tires it, it's, it's, your head is like yeah, in the right. plant <laughs> they're 16 inch tires 215 85 16 so very common very inexpensive i guarantee you they didn't cost as much to replace these as it would on our motorhome which we know we did a video on that now continuing down this is like the b plus right i like to call it a c but it's 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 really like a c now when you open it full mercedes chassis and you can get everything you expect from mercedes when well, you'll see that when we go on the inside a couple of things i like that they do on here you have a light right here so it's going to give you a little bit of led lighting look at the one piece fiberglass going like right up front much better construction now regarding the construction guys these are travel made up in canada these are notoriously well constructed and how you know that is number one the wait time they're 20 months according to when we spoke to the reps here try to get one used if you can find them they're very few and they hold their their wreath sale really well because it's a very well constructed unit and we've talked to many owners of these they absolutely love them so let's go over here here's one of the things where things are a little bit lacking when you get something like this is the storage space look at this storage bay number one here you can see it it's a decent amount of space what i like that they do here is that they full twist lock on here and then you actually have a lock where you can secure your items and i like the way it kind of blends and curves right into the body full awning up top which is really nice and then i like the door again very well made you can see it's like a little bit of curvature to it not your normal door that you would that's kind of like phoenix has Very much so and then look at all the the hinges over here it, it's just you can feel the difference here it's like a really well-made vehicle one step but it's a low step because this is not a big giant motorhome it's so going to the second bay you have your inverter here they also give you a little bit of more storage space now this does have a carpet finish people are going to ask what is the cargo carrying capacity in something like this and it is a concern because this is not on a big giant like you know diesel motorhome chassis this specific one, 1,469 pounds. So it's definitely more than like the Tiffin Wayfarers. Some of those like seven, 800 pounds. And depending on how you spec this out, if you don't put the generator, you're going to save weight. Certain things are going to save weight. This also has 400 watts of solar up top. So that adds weight also. So let's continue, guys. Truma AquaGo, awesome. And I like that they painted it. Unlimited hot water. So obviously, if you ever see Truma, that means there's going to be propane on board that only runs on propane. Going down the next bay, this was optioned in with the generator if we got this we would get a generator absolutely and we'll probably put lithium in here also liquid propane generator 3600 watts plenty of power for your needs this is also option in with the macerator which we'll show you on the other side you can shoot your poop everywhere something like if, that if that's a hobby of yours that's a hobby of yours if, you're, if your neighbors you know what i mean <laughs> that's something we probably wouldn't option in this is pretty awesome look at this outdoor table you don't have to carry a table you guys i mean you're carrying one but it's part of it but if you want to be grilling out there you want the outdoors you have this large large yeah i love over. that love it light for the dark this folds up goes right into here pop out pretty awesome stone right cooking so th look at it it folds up and then it falls in half and just conveniently goes right into this area here which you see it's finished out they also have the straps in here to hold it down there's an led light so let me close this up i just keep closing as we go along last piece of storage here this very much reminds me of the airstream atlas which i absolutely love you that. love that yeah that motorhome let's continue down the back end guys vacuum bonded fiberglass walls and you have the rear cap here towing 
going on here? I don't know how much you really need to tell because this is a small vehicle. But You're going to get anywhere with this anyway. All right, so we met somebody that actually owns one of these. They tow a small Chevy Spark, a five-speed. They had no problem towing it. So that's a light vehicle. You're not going to tow a Ram, you know, 3,500 with this. But look at the, the, the rear here, how everything is really clean, full body paint. I really, really like it. LED lights. Let's go into the first bay on the driver's side. Here are all of your controls, you know, your outdoor shower, your valves, outdoor uh, hose here. There is your macerator. And then of course, if you want to pull and dump, you could do that also. Here's the connection, 30 amp coach. It's a small coach. You have one air conditioner on here. Here's the bay guy, uh, the uh, slide guys. Pretty it's decent slide. size. It's a yeah. Pretty deep slide for a small unit like this. And again, this. you'll see why inside. Notice so also behind that. A lot of times in motorhomes, you'll see just a squared off standard. This is curved, right? So it's going to mold into the body. It's going to look really nice. That takes a lot more time and cost to do something like that. It's kind of the theme. So you saw the door, the slide, and the cabinets are all... Everything is molded to make it look really nice. And again, the fit and finish on this we're seeing is, is really nice. We're looking at the caulking. Everything is just very well done. They give you additional storage how awesome is this there's a lot of storage in this unit that's one thing that lacks a lot of times on b's and b pluses you don't have that storage place thing. for your sewer hose pretty awesome and again every one of these twist lock with the ability to lock everything inside coming down the driver's side entry this will be your location for your diesel fuel of course this is going to have def also going to give you some of the specs before we go inside a couple other things guys this has a uh, 200 amp hours of battleborn the diesel label is dragonfly but they're battleborn so 200 amp hours of lithium 400 watts on the roof and then over here i noticed here is a quick connect for their propane so you how convenient you just run the line right here to run your Blackstone. So here are some of the quick specs, guys. The gross vehicle weight rating, 11,030 pounds. The wheelbase is 170 inches. The length is 25 feet, one inch with 711. The height with the AC unit, 10.6. That's pretty awesome. Interior height, 6.5. Jason wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> or hey, well, maybe, he'd be like, rubbing crawling. his head on the ceiling. <laughs> Fresh water capacity suffers a little, 25.6, but if you're taking this to full hookups, it doesn't really matter. Gray holding, 35, black, 30. Fuel capacity is 24.5. Propane, 15. 0.8 gallons. Now these come in all different configurations. This is our favorite configuration and we're going to take you on the inside. I love this. Let's go inside. This floor plan is definitely something that, as he said, that we would love. So when, right when you walk in, actually your batteries are behind this access panel right here. Come on in. And then something else I noticed right before it Look at this. A little storage space. You've yep. got little hangers here to hang, you know, hats or Pretty awesome. jackets or whatever. So we'll start up front. Beautiful, beautiful. So Mercedes chassis is always really nice. You have, first of all, the, the seats, these are ultra leather. They are powered, reclining, swivel, heated, everything you would want. You know what I know is because I have this eye. What? The headrest. They're custom embroidered. Yep. With the leisure logo on. Yep. Pretty beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. This is, so you have, I'm not gonna, this is kind of out far, but beautiful Mercedes, every, all the integrated controls right here. Gorgeous. This is a color screen, touch screen. So you can have some fun with that. You do have charging here for your phones. You have your cup holders, your radio, everything right there. You have a little, some space up here. Okay. Then your lights and everything right here. Beautiful. Look at that. So nice. All right. What did I do? Oh, I just turned. Okay. That's really, really nice. Now moving on, we're going to get into the main living area. So right when you first start in the living area, you're going to have this beautiful skylight. You have your day shades here and then you have your night shades as well, but that brings in so much beautiful natural light into this living area. So starting on this side, you'll see it. Close the door real yeah, quick. Yeah, they're blowing it's leaves. It's here. So here's some storage area. You've got 110 outlets here. Okay, and notice too, around all the, this beautiful LED accent lighting, it just goes the whole length. Love it, love it. Here's some of that curved cabinetry that we were talking about. A lot of them are like that. This one is not, but you have a, a safe here. You have another huge storage area that you can keep shoes or any any items you want right below the TV, which does come with a sound bar, which you can watch from your multi-purpose living bedroom area. So this is the big part of this, and this is the draw for us. In something this small, I love the use of a Murphy bed because it just saves room. It's multi-purpose, as I said. So you have your, your seating area here, Murphy bed behind it. Love that they put the, the mirror there. So you have your 
your cup holders here. And then underneath, actually it's three purpose. So you have living, mm -hmm. sleeping, and dining. So under here, and I'm not gonna put this whole thing together, but you can see you have a pop-up table that comes right up there. So then you'll have your dining area as well. It's such a genius use of space. And it's very, again, it's very comfortable here. And what I like too, a lot of times when you have a Murphy bed, this looks, it's just not aesthetically nice to look at. You got nice hardwood and, and it looks really good with the beautiful LED accent lighting. Then here are your light controls, right? When you walk in and you do have the lighted hand bar here. So then you have your kitchen. Kitchen area is really nice. All the countertops in the leisures are Corian countertops. So they're super high quality. You're going to have a two burner propane cooktop here. Beautiful that you can stand here and cook and look out these nice windows. I, lo I love it. But really with that yeah. table outside, you want to cook outside. Yeah, but if it's a rainy day or if it's like, you know, really bad. So then you have your sponge holders. I like to call them here. Cabinets are very well made. Everything is soft clothes here and they vary in size. So you have some smaller ones there and all the way down to the bigger one on the bottom. Then you have a nice stainless steel circular sink here. Okay, this does not have a sprayer. And then more, here's your curvature again, right? A lot of the cabinets are curved. Now you'll see this as this is not a storage compartment. This is, you know, obviously coming from your sink. This is awesome. You have access to the back of your Truma. I didn't know this. Yep. Ours, we have to like take it. The, it's, yeah, it's That's tough. awesome. So beautifully ducted AC and the AC on here is one AC. It's the Truma Aventa air conditioning, which, you know, a lot of people may not have we heard We love of. our Truma. If it's any quality like the Never Truma. Never issue, man. We've had that yeah. since 19. We've since had it 19. since as long as the motorhome. We got we got it done at Hershey in 19 when we came to the Hershey yeah. show. It's yep. been flawless. It's been great. So here's your Dometic fridge and freezer. And then you have a high point microwave here. Um, so you have everything you need here. You also get a nice size. Look at this. And what I like about this too, obviously it's not going to come out during travel because you have it locked, but it's got high sides to it. So you can fit a lot in here. You're not going to be fitting cereal boxes and things like that, but you have other places to do that. And then you have more storage over here, which can be used for kitchen, your pantry storage, or bedroom storage. But here's where it's going to house your table, which will be put right between the driver and the passenger seats up there so you can sit and dine. There's so many different places to do things, to eat, to sleep. Because they're multi-use for the space. Yeah, absolutely. And then you have more nicely constructed drawers here, and then one on the bottom, more hashtag stuff fitting in there. Now, this is a very cool area back here. So you have another TV back here and you have a little storage. You can keep some little things in here. You're going to have those curved cabinets all the way around this living area. So this is a nice U-shaped sofa. And these are, well, you have to click them to open. Beautiful cabinets, so much storage space. And again, look how nicely they close, right? Beautiful. So you also have day and night shades on every window. Guys, what we're noticing as we go through this, this entire thing, exterior and interior, the fit and finish is amazing. And that's why these have a 20 month wait and why the price is where it is because you definitely get what you pay for. This is phenomenal. So you have more storage here. Now this is great to relax. It's, it's again, it's like another living area. You already have the seats up there with the TV. Then you get another living space back here. What's really cool, if you work from the road, check this out. So you have this pull out, okay, and this, Oh, comes awesome. up like that. And it is also going to house extra cushions in there. So you have a workspace as well as a living space. You can space. throw somebody, they really want to sleep. They can just, you know, sleep on that right, couch. Right. Go sleep on I the mean, couch. It's, it's so awesome how, you know, they, okay, you need to work from the road. Great. Now you can. Then you have a couple recessed shelves here. So if you want to put little knickknacks or something like that, that's the perfect place for it. Now the bathroom is really awesome. Every leisure travel va van is going to have a dry bath. You're not going to have to deal with a wet bath on a van. <laughs> I know. Izzy cannot no do... No cassette toilets. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's... No way. Again, I, I can answer empty a cassette toilet for number one. Number no two, I can't do it. I'd rather crap in the woods. <laughs> like a bear. Seriously. So you got another mirror, guys. So if you're vain and you like to look at yourself, you got one up there on the Murphy bed, then you have another one here. But this is really cool. This bathroom. Let me show you this. So you have... Here it is, a dry bath, and you've got plenty of cabinet space. You have some hanging rods here for your towels. You have a Dometic porcelain toilet. It's push pedal there, pedal flush. You do not have a medicine cabinet, so to speak, behind the mirror, so that's a little different. Places for your toothpaste and your 
your cup. And then going into the shower, you do have a handle here, which is great. In terms of height, so you can tell, I'm 5'9", and what do I have? Maybe four inches or so, it's hard to tell. It's You don't have a lot of uh, width here, but again, I'm tall, 5'9", and I still have plenty of room. You do have the removable sprayer, plenty of room to keep all your shampoos and things like that. So that's good. And what's cool about the bathroom is they do this cool thing with the door. So you probably noticed this. So if you take this door, it has multiple uses. So like we, we, when I, you saw when I opened it before, but you can also do, do this you with it. a lot more space on the inside. Right? So very, very cool. That's pretty awesome. I, I really like that. Again, they've taken a lot of use of, of space. Some of these manufacturers are doing such a good job with this. So you think about it. You have a multi-purpose dining living yeah. and bedroom area back there. Then you have a multi-purpose living, sleeping, and work area back here. It's amazing. So everybody's gonna know what is the price on this. There's no show pricing, at least advertised here. What's the MSRP? The MSRP is $214,000. At three twenty, two hundred fourteen thousand dollars. You're looking at worth every penny, I think. Again, yeah. that's MSRP. Listen, people could say, "Well, I can get this. I can get that for two fourteen. You can. You're not going to get this build quality. These are every single unit at this show is sold, and it's only the second day of the show. It was first, so first it was, day. They only sold yesterday. I know. And we talked to the uh, to the salesman here. He goes, "We get them in. We sell them. The biggest problem is getting them in. Here's that's what happens when you take pride in a unit. You have craftsmen working. You take your time." it sells itself. So in the comments below, guys, let us know, what do you think of this unit? Are you a leisure owner? We love this unit. Yeah. The more we actually took time, I'm like, this is really, really nice. And this Pretty is awesome. how it should be done. Yep. Put us know in the comments below if you like videos like this. To the left of us, we'll put our RV travels playlist. We'll put our RV tours playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you on the road. road.